Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem 56 from the chapter of space in the book of Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hubler. In this example, we have been asked to calculate this theta angle which this 3 kN force is making with the vertical and it has been given to us that the stress in these two rods are equal. So let's solve this example. So in order to solve this example, first of all, we should be knowing the forces in these rods since the diameters are given. So using the force divided by area, we will have stress and equating them, we will be having theta angle then. So let's determine the forces in these rods, drawing its free body diagram. So one force would be in this direction, in the direction of the rod. And let's name that force as FBC. And another force would be in this direction, the direction of the rod FBA. And third one is in the direction of this, which is 3 kN which is given actually and this force is making an angle of theta how about the fpc force how much angle this force is making so we are given with this right angle triangle with the help of this we can calculate this angle so let's say if we are using 10 theta formula so 3 divided by 4 inverse of 10 theta will give us theta as 36.87 degrees now let's use conditions of equilibrium in order to have these unknown forces FBA and FBC. So let's use first condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to 0 taking rightward as positive. This FBC is not in x direction not in y direction so that so it should be resolved it's into its component. So FBCX and FBCY. Similarly this 3 nuclear Newton force is not in x direction not in y direction so it should also be resolved it's into its components. So the components would be 3 cos theta the vertical component and horizontal component would be 3 sine theta so this horizontal component of fpc would be fpc cos 36.87 and this vertical component would be fpc sine 36.87 so for the first condition of equilibrium we will have uh, rightward force of horizontal component of fpc so that is fpc cos 36.87 fba is on the negative side similarly the horizontal components of 3 kN force is also on negative side that is 3 sine theta equal to 0 so in this equation we can see that there are two variables are there so we cannot solve it so let's move further for the second condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in y direction equal to 0 taking upward as positive so then we will have uh, Y component of FPC which is FBC sine 36.87 and the vertical component of 3 kN force which is downward so that will be negative 3 cos theta equal to 0. So from here we will have FPC in terms of theta so on doing simplification we will have FPC as 5 cos theta. Now since we have used 3 kN force so the unit for FPC will also be kilo Newton. Now we can place the value of FPC in this equation. So on simplification, we will have 5 cos theta multiplied by cos 36.87 minus FPA minus 3 sine theta equal to 0. So cos 36.87 will have some value that will be multiplied with 5 and uh, then taking this FBA on the other side that will become positive so then FBA on the other side would be equal to so cos 36.87 multiplied by 5 will give us 4 cos theta minus 3 sine theta now we have got FBA in terms of theta and FPC in terms of theta now moving forward so up till now this is what we have got now the next thing is we are being given that the normal stress in ba rod is equal to normal stress in bc rod so normal stress in ba rod would be equal to 4 cos theta minus 3 sine theta this is force now that will be divided by the area 
So diameter is given. So formula would be pi by 4 d square. For PA, the diameter is 4 millimeter. And the overall unit of this would be glow newton per millimeter square equal to the FPC force, which is 5 cos theta, divided by the area, which is pi by 4 d square, which is 6 millimeter. And the unit will again be same. So this pi by 4 and pi by 4 will get cancelled. This 36 will be multiplied over here. So 36 multiplied by 4 cos theta minus sine theta. This 16 would be multiplied with 5 cos theta. So on further simplifying it, this will be 144 cos theta minus 108 sine theta equal to 80 cos theta. So keeping cos theta on one side and sine theta on the other side. So shifting this on this side, it will become 144 cos theta minus 80 cos theta equal to 108 sine theta. So on simplifying further, we will have sine theta over cos theta, shifting cos theta on this side. 64 divided by 108. So the sine theta over cos theta is 10 theta and theta inverse of this expression will give us 30.65 degrees so this is the answer in the end of this question it is also being asked to calculate what is this stress so putting the value of theta in any of these we will have the value of the stress so for the simplicity let's put in this expression 5 cos 30.65 divided by this pi by 4 6 square so on doing calculations we are going to have 152 mpa which is actually newton per millimeter square so this was in kilo newton this should be converted into newton first by multiplying with thousand and then i'm doing calculations you are going to get this value of 152 mpa so now we have got both the answers the strays and the angle this is all from this video where we have learned about how we can calculate theta in the case when 3 kN force is being applied at an angle of theta with perpendicular and it, the condition is given that the stress in P rod and BC rod is same. That's all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.